Hey, what's going on guys? Timzy here. And in today's video, I have 26 tips and tricks on the new map Emerald Plains. So you guys can finally stop banning it. But with that being said, let's jump right into it. So starting off upstairs in the second floor music hallway, we're going to start by opening up the music terrace doorway, just like so. And I'm going to show you guys how to vault on top of the piano. So what you're going to do is bring a zombie. You're going to throw a barrier on the right hand side of the piano. This will allow you to vault onto the piano keys. And then from there, you'll be able to vault onto the back of the piano. And from there, you just want to break all of the debris on the top of the piano. You want to try and slowly walk off the edge of the top of the piano here. That will drop you down enough to actually stand up and you can peek over the wall to the top of those music terrace stairs. So I'll show you exactly what the attackers see. So as they are coming out of the spawn up the music terrace staircase, they're going to be peeking this music terrace door and you're going to be able to see the bottom half of their body before they even walk up close enough to see you peeking over that wall. And this is such an easy spot to get into. As you guys can see, you can simply just vault up onto the keys. You immediately can vault up onto the top of the piano. So it takes you all of three to five seconds to get here. And you guys can have a really good angle on that terrace balcony. Now, moving on from there with the CEO and admin objective, we're going to go into CEO on the other side of the CEO desk. You're going to open up the floor right where I do, and this will let you watch the front lobby door entrance for that front gate spawn, or you can simply go right next to the CEO window and just break right above the actual door. But this allows you to catch anybody that is walking you through that front door. You'll see the bottom half of their body before they even see you or see the line of sight that you are making. And as you guys can see from the attacker's point of view, as they are entering this front lobby doorway, they're going to be exposed to that line of sight from CEO. Now, moving on from there, we're going to be making our way up the orange stairs to the painting gallery. We're going to open up this hatch. And then from there, you want to open up the dining wall in front of you if you prone on the hatch facing the south side. So be able to see the bottom of the orange stairs. And this pretty much cuts off one of the three main ways the attackers can get upstairs. And the orange staircase is so secluded, there's only the dining hallway as well as the window to hop in. So as the attackers are pushing this, you have to deal with the hatch and the line of sight that we created, as well as people at the top of the orange stairs. And it's such an easy angle to open up. It really requires opening up the hatch, a couple shotgun holes, and you guys can watch that. Now, this next spot is going to be great for the attacker. So if you go into meeting room in the second floor, you're going to be able to open up above the kitchen wall. Even if it's reinforced, you'll still be able to make this line of sight. And you can see a large majority of the actual kitchen objective from this window. Now, you can also go vertically above the objective. There is some portion of the ceiling above that is soft that can clear a large majority of kitchen. But this allows you to also open up sort of a side angle on anybody that's inside of kitchen trying to rotate around inside of fountain as well. Now, making our way back upstairs, I have another hatch inside of Hunting Hall that allows you to watch another entry point into the map. So you're going to open up the bar hatch inside of Hunting Hallway and then open up the wall. And this will actually be above the bar stock wall. So you're going to be able to watch the bar stock door from the Hunting Hallway hatch. And you have this flip table in front of you that allows you to have a bit of cover from that Hunting Hall window. And you can see the entire bar stock doorway as the attackers are walking in. So this can be used for pretty much any objective if the attackers are pushing that side of the map. Just taking a quick break from the video, if you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss a future video. But anyways, let's get back into it. Now, making our way up the green stairs, I want to show you a vertical angle for the green stairs. We had one for the orange stairs and we have another one for the green stairs. So if you guys make your way into admin, you can open up the floor roughly where I do and then open up the wall in front of you as well. And this will allow you to see the bottom of the green stairs. So you could watch the orange stairs. You can watch the green stairs from the same objective. Now, you can also just open up straight above the green stairs, but this doesn't give you as good of an angle as the prone angle does. But this allows you to watch the green stairs and cover two of the main entry points to the top floor. Now this next spot needs a little bit of a setup, but we're gonna start by opening up the top of the dining wall from the orange stairs. And then from there, we're gonna make our way into dining and open up the next dining wall that leads into pantry. And you can take it one step further if you want, and you can go into pantry and open up the pantry wall to the outside of the map on the north side. So you're gonna be able to see the white van here. And then we're going to make our way all the way back to the orange stairs to see this line of sight. So if you guys go halfway up the orange staircase, you're going to be able to get a pretty easy vault prompt. You're going to vault on top of the railing. You then walk across the railing until you can see the line of sight. So you can actually watch as the attackers are entering into that pantry wall. Now, I know it's a pretty insane angle, but you can see that I'm pinging the white van outside of the map. So you can watch the attackers are pushing that pantry wall, or even if they hop into the pantry window as well, you can see as they vault in and start pushing in towards kitchen as the window is right on that yellow ping. 
So you guys can see all the way to pantry. I know it's insane, but I thought I would throw it in here anyways. Now up next, we have a hiding spot, great for Cav, but you wanna make sure you bring in impact. So inside of lobby, you're gonna see these two orange couches. You can vault up onto the table in the corner. You're gonna then impact the table because you can't actually melee the table to destroy it. And then you can simply just go into the corner where the table was and just prone and hide behind the two couches. Now the reason you want to vault on top of the table and stand on the orange couch before you actually impact the table is because it's very hard to get a vault prompt onto the couch. So you're going to be vaulting onto the table, impacting it, and then hiding in the corner. As you guys can see, it's pretty annoying to try to find the actual vault prompt, but make sure you guys destroy the table after you get on top of the couch. Now, I do have another hiding spot for you guys, and this will be for the upstairs. So inside of waiting room, you're going to break the table in the corner between these four chairs. You can simply just melee this. You don't have to use an impact. And finding the vault prompt is pretty annoying to actually get into this spot. So in this case, I actually just walk into this armchair, walk a little bit to the left while I'm doing this. This will elevate you high enough to actually walk on top of the chairs. And then you can simply just prone behind the two chairs in the corner, sort of tuck yourself in, try to hide. And then whenever you're ready to actually get out of the spot, it is really easy to just vault out. You can vault to the left, vault to the right, and then you are on your way to go for a flank. Now, while we are in waiting room, I have a Cade spot for you guys. So you're going to reinforce the single waiting room wall, and you're going to be able to Cade this from two different locations. Now, the first spot is definitely going to be the best, in my opinion, but you're going to go ahead and rotate around to the other side of the wall. You're going to be able to throw a Cade sort of tucked into the corner behind the debris, and this will actually reach the single wall. The other spot is going to be from downstairs, so we're going to be able to go down into mud room, and you're going to throw this up to the ceiling. I like to sort of tuck, try to tuck this above the decoration there, and this will also spread to the wall upstairs inside a waiting room. And just to show you exactly what I mean, we're going to destroy the other cade, and you guys can see that this cade will also catch that single waiting room wall. Now, of course, I had to throw in some spawn peaks, so we're going to be inside of CEO spawn peaking the front gate. So you can simply just vault up on top of the CEO desk. You can go as far as to actually prone and try to elevate yourself a little bit higher with some of the debris that is on top of the table. That'll sort of give you a little bit of an elevated angle. And you can also get on top of the CEO chair. Now it is a little bit annoying to try to get the right angle because you might just slide off the chair, but you guys can see you're very highly elevated. You can see as the attackers are walking through that front gate and go for the spawn peak. Now up next we have a Valcam for the green stairs. So we're gonna go ahead and start by throwing this in the foliage on the bottom half. You wanna make sure you don't throw it too high because it will actually destroy the foliage on top and it will make it more obvious. So you're gonna be able to see the entire green staircase as well as the music hallway that leads to that music terrace doorway. So you can pretty much see the entire southwest side of the objective for admin and CEO. Now I have two Goyo spots that you guys can use for two of these staircases. In this case, it's going to be the orange stairs and the fountain stairs. So the vault I showed you guys previously to vault onto the orange stairs railing. You're going to do just that. You're then going to walk up the stairs along the railing and that will allow you to place this on the top of the couches that are at the top of the orange stairs. So this will pretty much cut the bottom half of the orange stairs off. So the attackers are not going to be able to walk up this and you can pair this with the vertical line of sight that I showed you guys previously with the hatch inside of painting gallery to help you cut off the orange stairs. It does spread a lot to the top, but this is primarily used to cover the bottom half of those stairs. Now I said you can also do this with the fountain stairs as well. So you're going to simply just vault up onto the table next to the fountain stairs, walk along the railing and do the same exact thing here. This will be placed on the wall on the top of the fountain stairs and you will use this just like you did for the orange stairs one. So whenever the attackers are pushing the bottom of the fountain stairs, you can simply pop that. That'll cover the entire bottom half of the fountain staircase, as well as it also spreads to the window inside of library as well. So if the attackers are outside of library window, you can pop this one as well and stop them from getting in. Now I have another spawn peak for you guys, and this will utilize that single meeting room wall. So we're going to open up the wall. You want to use a shotgun because it clears a lot more of the debris. And you're going to be able to watch as the attackers walk through the front gate. So you can spawn peek from the CEO or you can wait and spawn peek from here. The moment they round the corner through that front gate, it will be in your direct line of sight. So this is just an easy way to get an early round pick. Now, this map has a ton of verticality that I have yet to find. But moving into meeting, we have two lines of sight that you can use to watch the dining hallway downstairs on the first floor. 
So you're going to break the middle chair on the north side of the meeting table, and then you're going to open up the floor right beneath that. This will allow you to watch the lobby door that leads into the dining hallway. Now, the dining hallway pretty much cuts the map in half, at least on the south side of the map. And then you're going to go on the other side of the meeting table and right underneath the other center chair, we're going to open up a line of sight that watches the fireplace to dining door. So as you guys can see, you can watch the fireplace door you can also watch the lobby door to the dining hallway and you can see this dining hallway leads to the orange staircase so this pretty much cuts off one of the main ways to get to not only the green stairs but also the orange stairs now up next we have a spawn peak this is going to be for the mudroom window this is going to be on the southwest side of the map so i'm going to show you guys what the attackers are going to see so as they are spawning stables they have a few ways that they can go but if they go to the right hand side you're going to have this one entry point here that will lead directly to the window now we open up the slit at the bottom, and if they decide to go through the stable on the far right hand side, again they will be exposed to that mudroom window. So all you guys have to do is just open up a slit on the bottom of the mudroom window, and you can watch the right or left hand side of that stable as the attackers are walking out of the spawn. Now making our way back upstairs into the painting gallery and the ceramic gallery, we're going to make some feet holes across the single wall that leads into the library. Now when defending this, you may think this is counterintuitive since you are defending this objective, but the go for this is to watch the top of the fountain stairs. So you're going to prone on the left side of the showcase and you can see the moment that the attackers walk to the top of the fountain stairs, they're going to be exposed to those feet holes that you made. So as they are clearing the archives, worrying about everything inside a library, you're going to be prone on the right side of that showcase, just watching this line of sight. Before we carry on with the video, I want to mention that you guys can get the official Astralis Weapon skin on Jackal and Siege. All you have to do is go to the shop tab, click the eSports button, and get the skin. So I have another line of sight for you guys, or I guess two variations, but you can vault up on top of the showcase to peek over the bomb chassis to that statue door. That statue door is actually where the top orange stairs are, or you can simply break these soft walls between the bomb chassis and that statue door to get a line of sight on the left side of the bomb chassis to watch the statue door. This can be used in the other direction as well. If you need to watch the archive door from inside of statue, you can do that as well. But the attackers are not really going to be expecting this as they try to clear the entire statue and painting gallery. They're going to have to worry about somebody peeking through sort of a pixel angle on the bomb chassis. Now this next spot is going to just be a vault that I want to show you guys. So you can actually vault up onto the bar. If you guys go perpendicular with the bar, make sure you line up the right hand side as straight as possible. You'll be able to vault up on top of the bar and then run across to the bar on the back wall. This will allow you to sort of just tuck into a corner. If the attackers are pushing into the site, you just pick a corner to sort of tuck into. You can watch the bar stock door. You can watch the fountain doorway. Or if you need to really watch the other side as well, you can tuck into the other corner that leads to the lounge room. So just wanted to show you guys this one. Now we have another spawn peak for you guys, and this will be for the front gate as well. It's safe to say that the front gate is a pretty bad place to spawn. So you're gonna be opening up the bottom of the bathroom window or the toilets window. And I wanna show you guys exactly what the attackers see. So running out of the lobby door to that front gate behind the armored truck. So as soon as the attackers walk through the front gate and they walk to the right, they're gonna be exposed to the bathroom window and they're honestly not really going to be able to see this window all that well because of the tree that is in front of it but you have enough of a time frame to actually shoot as the attackers are walking around the corner of the armored truck now moving on to the more attacker sided tips and tricks if you guys are attacking the ceramic and painting gallery meeting room objective it's pretty common to have this vault wall reinforced so here's an easy way to clear the bandits mute arcades off the wall so if you guys spawn on the north side i think it's the golf courses spawn you can simply shoot open the pantry wall and then just ash charge where i did on the soft wall there that'll clear anything that is on the wall it's very very easy and you can do it within the first 15 seconds of the round starting so you can go up and get that vault wall to allow you to actually get into the objective now up next, it's going to be in the same area. I want to show you guys two different repels that you can use to cut off a lot of the upstairs objective, especially around the ceramic and the meeting room objective. So from the archive repel here, I want to show you guys exactly what's going on. So when the defenders are rotating around library into archives, into ceramic gallery, if you upside down repel, it's going to be so hard for them to actually see you holding this line of sight. And this covers almost half of the upstairs, at least half of the rotations and this allows you to sort of cut off anybody trying to rotate from library into archives or into gallery from archives as well. Now the next repel is going to be on the same side of the map, just a little bit further to the south side. This is going to be the statue window repel. So the same thing here, you just want to open up the window upside down repel, and you can use an ash charge or an impact or simply just shoot the wall in front of you because it is soft, 
and this cuts pretty much half of the ceramic and painting gallery objective itself and anybody that decides to rotate into meeting or out of meeting as well. And from the defender's point of view, they really cannot rotate around this objective. Now, one thing that you want to worry about is inside of meeting if the defenders want to sort of counter you. So I guess it's sort of two tips in one, but they can simply prone behind this bar. They can then make a couple punch holes on the back of the bar and then they can see the repel from here as well. So that's something that you want to look out for when you are on attack or if you need to deal with this window and you're on defense, you can do that and make that prone punch hole on the bar and clear anybody that is trying to repel on the statue window. Now this next spot is going to be a drone spot for the upstairs. This sees a lot of the upstairs objectives. So you're going to be able to vault up on top of the globe and then from there vault up on top of the wall. You then get onto the top of the bookshelves and from there you can vault up onto the skylight support beams that go across. And from here you can use this to sort of watch multiple angles you can see the gallery side of the map you can see the library you could even use this as sort of a flank cam for the fountain stairs and the hunting hallway you can also see the music hallway door as well as people that are rotating out of the admin office as well so you can sort of move this around to see what portion of the upstairs that you need information on now this next spot is going to be great for the attackers but it can also be used on defense as well if you are defending the lounge and bar objective you're going to go into lounge and vault up on top of the jukebox and open up the wall on the east side of lounge this will lead to that dining hallway that i talked about previously that will allow you to watch the entire rotation from the bottom of the orange stairs and you can also watch the other two staircases if you just move a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left. So you're going to be able to watch the dining hallway that leads to the orange stairs. You can drop off the jukebox to watch the green stairs and walk into the bar just a little bit. And you can watch the bottom of the fountain stairs. So just a great way to watch all of the different staircase flanks, primarily the orange staircase, because the orange stairs only lead to that dining hallway. So if any defenders are trying to walk down the orange stairs to go for a flank, you'll be able to easily cut them off from this line of sight. And last but not least, I want to show you guys a drone hole that you can utilize when attacking the kitchen and dining objective. So when the defenders are inside of dining, it looks pretty safe to play by this wine cellar area, but you can see that there is a drone hole here. Now the defenders really can't utilize this drone hole all that well, but if you are attacking and decide to enter the north side of the map, which is in this case, it's going to be the back entrance doorways, you can then simply prone and just watch people as they are sort of running around the wine cellar area. Now it's definitely better if you have a gun with a little bit easier to control recoil than the R4C, but you guys get the idea. You'll be able to do some damage, maybe clear somebody out, or even use a nade to get a nade pick on somebody that is playing in wine cellar. Anyways guys, if you made it this far into the video and enjoy the content that I post on the Astralis channel, make sure to check out my socials which are on screen right now if you guys want to check out any of the other content that I make. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite tip was down below in the comments. But anyways, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.